This is an updated guide on how to defeat Malagus the Corrupt very easily with some cheese updated for the 1.0 and the behavior patches that have been put out for him. So pay attention, we got some good stuff for you today. First of all, you're gonna need to get the detector and find Malagus. You can get that from the Gorm statue. He's usually quite a distance away, so you're gonna wanna pack a lunch. Once you have him on your radar, dig your way all the way out into the stone biome to find the dungeon. You're gonna wanna have some supplies with you. First, you're gonna need a crystal skull, which you can make with the crystal skull fragments. Three of them will do. Grab yourself some stone walls, also some traps. I got 30 tin traps, that should do you. Some stone fences. Finding Malagus is pretty easy. Just wind your way through the dungeon and keep heading towards the skull that you see on the map. I found him nearby looking shy and ready for a fight. Of course, I got decimated using the old cheese strategy, so I needed to do a little bit more reinventing to find out if there was a way that we could still use the basics of that strategy without getting killed. So we dug out everything around him, all the floors, all the walls. There is a small indestructible platform in the center that you can't destroy. You also want to make sure that you build out this little space here connecting to the wall. Put down two stone fence right here. Dig up all the ledges around the outside of Malagus's home, leaving yourself a one block pathway in and out of the spawn chamber. Make sure that when you're done doing this, you put the spikes over all of the indestructible area where he can spawn. You might not need as many as I put down. I do like to cover the entire area. Make sure you leave a space open on his summoning sigil over here that you can put the skull down on, drop the crystal skull and run outside. It used to be that you could hide up here with a stone fence and he wouldn't be able to teleport. As you'll see, that's not the case anymore. So anytime that he teleports out to you, all you have to do is run him back into his spawn area. Once he teleports in, you run back out. If he teleports back out, you can run back in again. In theory, you could do this for the whole fight, but that would be exhausting and also a little bit dangerous, as you'll see here. Sometimes the fire gets in the way and you're going to have to take some damage. So if you're like me and you're a little bit adventurous like that, I do recommend bringing some healing potions, but they're not necessary if you manage this fight correctly. Pay attention to the boss music when it gets quiet. When it completely stops, you know that he is no longer aggroed on you and you're fine to just stay there. Ideally, you want to be in a spot where you can see his health bar, but do not go back into the room because if you do, you're going to re-aggro him. You want to stay on the outside where you can see his health bar. Now, if you make a mistake, don't panic. If you end up back in the room and he aggros again, just do what you did before. Get far, far away from him and take some healing potions until you hear the music stop. Once the music stops, you know that he is going to teleport back into the main room and he'll leave you alone. If he's still throwing flames at you, you need to move a little bit further down. See, like right about there. Let's fast forward a bit until we can see his health bar so that we can watch the progress of this first phase of the fight. And then we can talk about what happens at the second phase. Just be careful and slow, inch your way up and you won't aggro him again. So once you've got his health bar in view, you're perfect. You'll see his health slowly melting away, but don't be fooled. When that health bar hits zero, he's not dead. He's coming back. So if you happen to run back into the room like I do here, you're going to see that he will join you. He'll be like, hey, I want to hang out with you. This is his melee phase. So get the heck away from him. If you have to run through fire, do it. Get all the way to this outside and oh, look, he teleports back into the room. Oh, he's coming again. I better get ready to fight, right? OK, but wait, he's going to. Oh, he teleported again. What's going on here? Oh, looks like there's a little bit of a glitch, I guess. This is why we still need that little tiny two block area to tuck away into to let him kind of run up towards us. Our pet's doing some damage too. You could technically fire your ranged weapon as well. If he gets a little too close, you can always run him back into the room. But for me, I just sat here and we let him keep going until he just spiked himself to death. And then we're going to go back, pick up our loot, grab all our stuff, head back, put our little star into the face of the statue here, get our wonderful rewards for this and also get to talk to our big statue friend in the middle. You can rinse and repeat and farm this guy endlessly using that procedure. It's very safe, easy to do. This guide is current as of September 22nd, 2024. Thank you so much for hanging out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Put your comments in the comments section. I'm passing the controller because you are up.